Have you guys been on TikTok lately? They're telling me that dry scooping is dangerous. Let's talk about it. Is it? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I do it. I'm just waiting. Limited research shows that this is impossible to tell you yes or no. Okay. Literally, I don't think anyone has studied is it dangerous or not. I will say that the main concern is not so much on the actual dry scooping, but more so just taking pre-workout itself. If you guys didn't know what dry scooping is, so typically if I wanted this pre-workout from Buff Chick, I would take a scoopy scoop and mix it with some water or some liquid. However, the youths of the internet have been just taking their pre-workout and down the hatch. Maybe they chase it with water. They probably, I hope they chase it with water. Anyway, Grid, do you want a demo? Grid is going to demonstrate everyone this is how you dry scoop. He's a professional. Mmm. Then you sip it with water, and then you have to peace sign to the camera. <laughs> That's how you do it. It's not complete without the peace sign. Mm -hmm. Do you like to dry scoop? I do like to dry scoop simply because I don't want to wash dishes. Oh, interesting. That's literally the only reason why. You're so right. Every time we're home from work, I swear to God, Ryan has eight different blender bottles. And it's so annoying because then I have to unload, not always have to, but usually I'm the one loading the dishwasher. Thanks to our lovely model, Grid, for demonstrating. Typically, I always mix my pre-workout. The concern, mostly, I would be most concerned with like inhaling the powder and choking because it's dry. But I feel like if you're chasing it with water, you might avoid that unless, actually, I mean, I choke on anything, so. Wait, does that sound bad? So like I said, much of the concern is around just the pre-workout itself. People are scared sometimes of the ingredients in pre-workout, probably because people don't understand them and the research behind why you might wanna take a pre-workout. At Buff Chick, we try to break things down so that it's as simple and easy as possible to understand. Of course, if you wanna learn more about ingredients or supplements in general, I definitely recommend examine.com. No supplement company is affiliated with them, especially not us. You can always like look at the ingredients that you're interested in and learn more about the research behind them and examine makes it super easy to understand. Caffeine might be something that you don't want to have if you're like a young person, like a child, or if you have an underlying health condition. So those two things you might be at risk, so probably don't have pre-workout or look for non like stimulant free pre-workouts. That's probably where the main concern is. With that, if you're thinking about trying one of our pre-workouts and you have a health condition or you're a minor, check with your doctor and speak with them. Anyway, why would somebody want to do a dry scoop instead of just mixing it with water? Our friend Grid does not like to do dishes and I feel like that's reason enough to consider. However, a lot of people prefer to dry scoop and swig out from their water bottle because they don't want to have a ton of water in their stomach before they start training. I mean, me, I'm chugging water the entire time, so I can understand that, but if you're running late or you're short on time, then maybe a dry scoop makes more sense. I don't know. So pre-workout in general, if you're considering a pre-workout or a non-stimulant pre-workout, one that doesn't have caffeine, and you're not sure whether or not you should try it, then make sure if you're in one of those risk populations, you check with a physician or doctor, or you do some research and understand what the ingredients are doing to your body and what the research says about those ingredients. And then you wanna make sure that your pre-workout nutrition is in check. So if you're not working out, if you're not eating well, then there's probably no reason to take a pre-workout, obviously. But I always like to encourage people to focus on nutrition as a whole, sleep, training, and then think about supplements. You might even put stress before supplements. So get those things in check before you start spending a ton of money and investing a lot of time and research into taking something like a pre-workout. And last, you wanna make sure you understand what ingredients are in your pre-workout. Caffeine being the big one, especially because depending on the time of your workout, you might not want to ingest 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is in one scoop of Buff Pre. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, depending on if you want caffeine or if you don't. I think caffeine is probably one of the most effective supplements for a pre-workout, so yeah. With understanding the ingredients, you definitely wanna check out the supplement facts panel so you get a full idea of what's going on. And hopefully, whatever supplement you choose, they're listing the research and helping you better learn about what's inside and how to read this thing right here. To make things easy for you, I'm just gonna take our pre-workout and I'm gonna list the ingredients that we have in it and also give you a brief overview of what they 
might help you do. And then the same for pump. I like this for evening sessions so that I'm not having a bunch of caffeine at like 5 p.m. lifting session knowing that I'm gonna be in bed a few hours later. So if you're still considering dry scooping, now that you've done all your research from this video, there's not much evidence that says that it is going to kill you. Now it hasn't been studied, so we don't really know that, but probably the biggest risk is that you will choke on the dry powder should you not chase it with water or should you just dry scoop and get surprised and then you're like, <coughs> yeah, that's probably what I would do. So. For now, I'm going to avoid it. So if you're a healthy adult and you're someone who already takes pre-workout, you could try dry scoop and see if it makes your life more convenient because it's quicker and you don't have to wash your shakers. But that's our video on is dry scooping dangerous. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.